Now for the answer. Is this a bore bug, which is repeatable under a well-defined set of conditions? Well, if you include a debugger in the conditions, it could be a bore bug. But normally, we don't do that. Heisenbugs change as the program is being observed. And therefore, this is a perfect instance of a Heisenberg. Mandelbugs have very complex causes, not the case over here. And a Schrodinger appears as soon as somebody looks at this program and it promptly stops working. Not the case over here. I would love to see a Schrodinger in practice. It's a very interesting theoretical concept. So how does this bug come to be? What we have here is a C speciality. This is an uninitialized variable. When in a C program, we read an uninitialized variable, as in here, then the behavior of the program is undefined according to the semantics of C and also C++ for that matter. And since the behavior is undefined, well, crushing was a perfect option. When executed normally, X would simply take whatever random value was on the stack and therefore the assertion would fail. However, the debugger would always set the entire stack to zero before execution and therefore X would take a zero value and therefore the assertion would hold. You can even have such distinction between running normally and being run in a debugger on purpose. Some malware actively checks if it's being run in a debugger and then automatically turns itself off. So if you try to diagnose some malware, the malware may be specifically set up to prevent all sorts of probing. If you suspect a Heisenberg, think what the debugger does differently than the normal execution and observe the program execution by at least two independent means, say a debugger and logging output, or two different debuggers, or whatever you have in order to find out what's going on.